And now for that very special recipe for my favorite seafood. Of course, you know crab meat. Look at this gorgeous lump crab meat. It's gotta be lump crab meat. So it's just, mmm, can't resist this. Oh yeah, uh, we'll be lucky we'll have any crab meat left for the, for the uh, dish. Mm -mm. Look at this, oh my gosh. Oh, this is so tempting. Uh, well, we just added to the bowl. Let me hurry up because I'll, I'll probably end up eating half of it. So, and then to this, I'm gonna add some artichoke hearts, which you have to chop very finely. And get them in the jar and add it. See, I'm not measuring, but you have the ingredients and you kind of judge it by eye. That's what I like to do. I usually do, do it by eye and smell. And of course, with crab meat, I like to taste it. Mm. I told you, I may not have any crab meat left. Mm, mm, mm. Very good. Now, next to this, I'm gonna add some onion tops. Good. Mmm. Delicious. And of course, I'll take my lemon juice. Sprinkle it on top. Mmm. Okay. Just smell that wonderful crab. Mmm, mmm. Next to this, I'm gonna season it. Okay, get my salt, salt and pepper and pepper sauce. Okay, and a little. Seafood needs more seasoning than regular food because it's just, uh, it's better, it tastes better if you add more than usually what you would normally want seasoned meat or poultry, you know, any chicken or beef. So this is, mmm. Can't wait to sample this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so uh, crabs are very, very good, and I've always enjoyed catching them. Also, as a girl, we'd go by the canals by the house, and uh, we get our little lines with our bait and all, and we just sit there and catch tons of crabs and then go home and Mama would boil them and then we'd peel them or fry them, you know, clean them and fry them. This is Manes, of course. Melissa again would say, Mama, it's mayonnaise, but I prefer Manes because that is how my mama said it and my grandmother did too. Okay, you be careful how you Add it, let me add just a little bit more. It seemed like it would not be the ingredient to add to a crab meat casserole, but it does something to the flavor. It just enhances the flavor of the crab meat. All righty, to this now, we're going to add some cheese. Now, this is the Parmesan cheese. And I, of course, freshly grated cheese is always better. So I like to use the freshly grated cheese, which I've already grated some, but this is how you usually grate your cheese. You have to be careful, because you can cut yourself. You hold it real carefully, and it just works so much better. Of course, like I said, I'm all ready for time element. I've grated some already. Put some in here, okay. Just according to your taste. I like a lot of cheese with my crab meat, but uh, if you prefer not, matter of fact, you don't even have to add it. Of course, I like to add it to it. Good, now. Now, what I'm going to do with this is I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna put it in a casserole, because this is to be baked. And before, you always spray with the nonstick coating because it makes the dishwashing so much easier. Ooh, you don't have to scrub all those dishes. So now, I'm gonna take my bowl of crab meat and I'll just put it in the dish, in the Pyrex dish. You can, of course, bake it in practically any dish you want to, any corning or, it, it's just really up to you. But I like to do it this way so you can see through it and see the gorgeous, crab meat after it's cooked. You set this on the table, you don't have to dish it out, you just serve from the bowl. Mmm, yes, very, very good. I'll straighten this out. Now, if you want to, you can add some, of course, uh, breadcrumbs to it, but I don't like to because it takes away from the crab taste. I'm gonna 
put this in the oven and bake it 350 for about 20 minutes until the cheese is really melted. But of course, time element, I've already baked this. So what I'm going to do, I'll take it out of the oven and show you what that gorgeous dish would look like. It's just beautiful and it is so tasty. Yeah. So now I'm going to bake this one because I know what we need. I could eat this one all by myself, so I have to have enough for the camera people. All right, 